Hello everyone, this is Ike here, this is Claire here, and this is Rafe here, and welcome back to Let's Play Battle for Bottom. In the last video, we finished up the Twilight Graveyard, and we started this area, this Twilight Stream area, and you're almost finished with it. Well, we got some stuff to do, uh, sorry, we, got to do that. we still got stuff to do, but we're going to start right now, we're going to Twilight Stream. Uh, Squidward Stream, this is Spongebob Stream, yeah. Look at that, Squirt's big nose, holy cow. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. <laughs> get it? Good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. Oh, jeez. So anyway, it's called Music is in the Ear of the Beholder. It's basically it's joining across these notes. Alright, see so these blue notes? Um, when you touch them, I don't think they fall off. Yeah, but these orange ones, especially they fall off. Oh, jeez, see that red thing? I don't know what it is. What's this sort of like number symbol? What are they air to? Information. Yeah, this sort of thing starts to get harder. These things move. Now, why in the world decide to put a check one right after one right here? I have no idea. Like, oh my god, why would they put a check one right there? Alright. Let me jump across here and. No, we're supposed to get that sock! Um. You'll find out momentarily. Are you supposed to use that bouncy thing? It's the drum? Actually, you're supposed to do a accurate jump from up there. So, you cross this, jump this bouncy thing, and you're gonna be laying on this moving around blue thing. And thankfully, it will stay right there, so you get you very nothing so it won't fall off when you touch it. So yeah, hey, okay, stand right here. You bounce line and actually like bounce a lot. And that was on this. Saxophone side will bounce off. Let's go other places. Time for another one of these things. Now, more bouncing. Bounce. 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 Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Look at a lot of bouncing. This view contains bouncing. Yeah. And now, sock. Bam! Easy sock. Only two more socks left. One more in this area and one more in the key bottom area. We're going to get as we get number seven though. Which we will do after we finish this area. Yeah. And across and across and across and bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And boop. Boop. Now those are kind of sort of like a hard endurance test right here because you notice no checkpoints. <laughs> now I die. <laughs> you say that and then you die. But thankfully there are no enemies here, so that's a good thing. So it's just like an obstacle course. Yeah. It's literally an obstacle course. Yeah. You really have to like an obstacle course, so it's not really like an enemy endurance. But if you thought there was an enemy endurance here, well dang it. So basically this area has like at least one thing from every area. You'd say like Slinger Streams has a slide. Um this Slinger Stream has the platforming. So guess what this crowd stream has? The robots Yes, Mr. Crash's stream has the robots. And now these orange things are moving. And they disappear after they go into the wall. 
Now it's like sort of like you no know, court thing and Hooray, made over here. Is there any like some people actually don't appear in their dreams? Like Squidward doesn't appear in his dream, like Mr. Krabs appears in his dream. So I guess he appears in Yep. If Squidward doesn't appear in like Mr. Krabs doesn't appear in his dream, he's gonna probably appear in Mr. Krabs' dream. And why I did that? Yeah, those that they fall off. So that's how you jump across them. But still, why put a checkpoint right after they do one already? Oh, you're still like kind of like upset at that one. Ah, I almost made it. Guess I need to wait a bit before I actually um, jump across those platforms. Almost there, almost there. There we go. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright. Good thing these platforms, they don't break off, so, yeah, good thing. I think that orange right there is just for getting that, that shiny object. Probably just getting for that sock. Yeah, another way to get that sock is just, like, bounce across right there. That's an easier way, just to bounce. Because, yeah, it's not falling off the platform. Alright, so we're almost there, and, hey, look, rare shiny object. Let's bounce over here and box. Good thing we got it. There we go. Shy object. Shy going spatula. It's ours. Alright, that was the music here in the holder. That was in the heart. Now let's get that rare shiny object over here. You know you don't need it. Yeah, you don't, don't need it. Yeah, we already have over maxed. And how are we supposed to get back? Well that's that's what this platform here is for. Game back. All oh, right. So, wait. There's a box right there. Yeah, there's a box right there. And that is the end of Scourge's dream. And yeah, we're not even halfway through the video. We're already done this here. There you go. Yep. Now then, ready for this part. This part. Um, basically, um, this dream. You want to um, jump across the platforms, and they actually spin around, and they turn spikes, or they'll turn to something else. All right. Now here's the final time to pay something here. You pay the clamp just to get the final block, which will allow you to um, go over to Patrick's stream. And what well, you know, it's sleepy time. It's your own nemesis, Rafe. Not mine. You wonder why? I have the cruise bubble. You do, but why do you keep missing? I don't know. No, I didn't. Because there's a rare one right there. Rare shiny object right there. Alright, so now we're ready to move on to the Mr. Krabs dream, which is the robot endurance. This is like the hardest part of like the area. Wait, wait, this is amazing. Look at all look at all that cash. Holy cow. What do you mean? Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. Yep. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I better grab my hat and Lunch Rush, alright. Yep. Shut up, let's beat the thing. <laughs> really good to say that. So anyway, this is called Ray Ray Platforms and the robots appear, the, they will turn the buttons. So basically, when you defeat the robots, they will actually allow you to get some more platforms. So you know that. So your kids? Now the easy thing you want to do is, to save time, you want to, um, Start off by getting rid of all. It's a good idea to get rid of every. Well, this guy, that guy over there is like, slick. Stop being annoying. So we'll get rid of him. Or you can actually get rid of all the other platforms that involve this stuff. Or you can get hit. God, stupid slick. Stupid slick. Slick, really? That's it. You're dead, slick. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead, slick. Come on. He won't die. It's a shield back every time. Yeah, you can take out the things like joining the platforms. 
Oh yeah, if you die, I start all over. Oh, I think we're ready to tail this one right here because you got all the platforms. Yep. Then we tail the thing. Do so it's fire. No rest is there all over. I right, gotta take out these two slicks. Come on, come on, only one hit left. And they're both for the same cray pad, I think. Yeah. Wait. Did this give me another one? Oh god, two slicks. The game really hates me. Yeah, it probably does. Must get two final slick right now on top of the platforms. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to say all these slicks. First, you take you the bubble ball. Oh, geez, that's a lot of silence for some reason. Now I got one more left. Thank you, there's no this D1000 regenerator. That's interesting. There we go, first try. So let's get the going special. Then you come back here every time you want to redo this. Anytime you want. Wait, anytime you want. Anytime you want. Anytime? Anytime. Alright. Hey, Skover, he's in your dream. Oh, my God, he is. So, before we leave, um, it's a good idea to get this bef after you defeat the robots here. Um, somewhere around here, there's a sock. It's somewhere around here. It's on top of a tiki. I'm pretty sure it's on top of a tiki. It's somewhere around here. No, it's not there. Because that's a rare shiny object. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a sock. Okay, the last sock has been... Um... Unidentified. There it is. It's right there. Right there. It's on the other side. Well, that was interesting. I this I didn't see it. It was like over there in the other side. There we go. We got all socks on this area. Only got to finish up like going spatulas, and we're done here. Before we go, yep. All right, so let's move on to the final dream area, Patrick's dream. Wait, what's what's it? Like? How hard is take Patrick's dream gonna be? Like very hard, extremely hard, hard to the max. We were just like, if you now let's see the checkpoint. You know why? We were saying about that. If you like, if you die, then you actually um go back into Squidward's dream, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs's dream. That'd be lame. Anyway, Patrick's dream right here. Um, well, you want to go in there because it's it's Patrick. We're in the dark, some sort of room. What was the test? Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Yep. Very well. Your challenge is <laughs> to find the golden spatula. What? What? It's right there. Seriously, it's right there. Oh my God. You're holding it. You did it. All right, easy. Here is your reward. Yep, there's a reward. This is what it's called. Here you go. Yeah, it's one of the easiest. In the game. <laughs> so yeah. There you go. And guess what? I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already saw the challenge. Did? And here's your... You already gave it to me. Yep. Did? And I challenge you to... Uh, 
Yeah, he does. Now watch this. Now basically, he would just like stare around at you, and now watch just probably end up at there running into like this dark area. You're running into the dark. And notice he's like still back there, and I'm still running in the dark. And it's an infinite loop. Nope, you end up like back there. So yeah, you just run here like it's infinite loops. So, like and you run in there for hours and hours and hours for some reason. But anyway. That's all for Patch's stream. That was pretty simple. Yep. Alright. So, Slick, why you keep doing this stuff? Let's just get rid of him and end this this area. Good. Good for this. Let's finish him off. There we go. We're finished with SpongeBob's stream. Now, all you gotta do now is just finish up when you do the bikini bottom, and there we go. Yep. Now we do is go back to Bikini Bottom and find out what the last slog is and the other two going specials are. So let's go there right now. Alright. So here we are. That's Bikini Bottom. So, what's going on in the Crusty Crab? What should be money? You sure? We already got all the D200 for like shiny objects. Yeah. But now let's just do the robot endurance. Uh oh. Another robot endurance. Ready, set, go. The first thing you want to do is. Is. It's most. Obviously, the most important thing you want to do is. Well, first you want to get. You can get rid of these four if you want. Or you get rid of this guy right here. Get rid of this guy right here. Now, you can also get rid of this D1000 right here. Yeah, get rid of Duplication 1000s first, because. It's always sleepy time. So they dance, like. <laughs> there we go, got rid of all four of those. Loser guys. Let's get rid of sleepy times, because. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying. Dude, this like sleep time is like much easier. Come on. If I have a camera around, this would be much easier. And bam. And kablam. Here we go. It was in hard. Let's go see Mr. Crash for a reward. But right now we got to him. Um, take out both of these must kitchen mustard things. But we can't get our prize until after Mr. Krabs gets a reward, so yeah, that's give you a hint what the what the final stock is the game is for us is. Yep. Yeah. You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. It wasn't hard. Take this as your reward. Yep. Look at like Sam we doesn't do anything. There you go. Go on smash well. Now let's go in there and get that foul sock. All right. See, so yeah, those are gonna be like where we get like a lot of going spatulas. Yep. Same way. This place right here, it's very interesting. Like, there's like a lot of people here. There's also some TVs here. You can also like destroy stuff for some reason. Like, there's some TVs here. Yeah. Now then, you want to um, go to the common island and get. Squash both of these condiments. Or is do this. Or to get rid of every single box. Yeah, destroy everything here. I think we destroy everything here. Oh jeez. There's a mine right there that says, I'm a mine.
So where are we supposed to save the final sock? Looking for it. Yeah, looking for it. The final sock can be anywhere. Even in my underpants. The final sock is in is your in your underpants. P U. That would be even more stinkier. Uh, can you find a sock yet? We're still looking for. We're still looking for a way to get the sock. There we go. Destroy everything. That's how you're supposed to get the final sock. Destroy everything. Clay, you could have done that right now. You could have destroyed everything. Oh. But anyway, final sock. We got all eight socks, which means we're able to get all eight of these going spatulas. But first, we're going to go to the Chumbo Get Lab to get the eighth. Going special for Bikini Bottom before we get trading all the socks. And Kablam! Here is Chumbo. This is where they ask you the final boss is going to be. But we're going to do that after a certain break of time. AK next video. So anyway, we got a lot of Thunder here. You can blow them all up if you wish. Also, don't forget about these. There's Thunder up here, so you can get rid of them if you want. Anyway, come go right here, and And stop with your children's children's children. And stop with your children's 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 children. And on and on and on until, yeah. This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash. Singing along with strange objects if you... Singing along with going strange objects like get the Sun Keys out first and blow up the Thunder Keys and yeah, it's a lot of strange objects. Anyway, it's called a wall jump in the bucket. So we're just going to show you going special. Well, there's some sort of like icon right above us. Is that going spatula? He looks like going spatula above us. And yes, it is. It's going spatula right there. Wait, seriously? That simple? Yep, it's right there. Seriously, it's right there. Holy cow! All right. And with that, we're done with Key Bottom, but that's the hub. So we're gonna finish off this video by giving all the socks to Patrick for all the going spatulas. So yeah, we got like over 10 going spatulas in one video. Yep. Spent. Yep. Look at this at off screen. Yeah. So we're gonna trade all the going spatulas as we close out. Yeah, we're gonna close out. As, yeah. So basically, this is Ike. This is Rafe. And this is Clay. And next time, we're gonna like finish off the plot of the game because the only thing we gotta do is like Chumbo Get Lab, and we got those two going spatulas, which are probably gonna be for the final boss. Now we're doing the slots first because we wanna beat the game 100% completion. Yeah, I know we're just trying to do this game 100%. I know. Yeah, interesting. Like every going spatula is equivalent to 1%. So yeah, literally, we're now 95% done. Yeah, so, yeah, we're just going to talk until we get all the one spatulas, then we're actually going to, like, say goodbye. Yeah, only two more. Only two more. Yeah, it's the same thing every time. Yeah, there we go. And once again, we're going to say it again. If you have less than ten socks, you can try to say, do you let's see if you found a lot of socks since night, Frederick? Oh, they, they find you? Yeah. There we go, we got all the socks back. Yay, all the socks back where they belong. Literally, icon right there. Easy, interesting. Alright, let's talk to Patrick. It's on your head, remember? It's on your head. It's not even there. But, anyway, it's Ike, this is Rafe, and it's Clay. And next time, we're gonna go to the Chumbucket Lab, which is this place right here. So, yeah. Lair